64. Which bond in each of the following pairs of bonds is the strongest? And then we have an HF bond or a HCl bond. Which one is stronger? Well, the difference here is, well, in order to answer this question, you got to find out the difference, right? So it's either between the elements or the actual bond. Well, in this case, I see that for both HF and for HCl, they're both a single bond. So that doesn't make any difference. But the, the difference here is, well, both of them are bound to hydrogen, but one is bound to fluorine, and then the other one is bound to chlorine. So that's going to make all the difference. Which one would be classified as a stronger bond because of the two different elements? Well, if we are talking about different elements, this all comes back to your atomic radius trend. The idea here is that if you have different elements, the strongest bond is SS. The strongest bond is the shortest bond. Now, if you think about this, right, if you're really, 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 really close to someone and that bond, the closeness, brings that bond shorter because you're so close, that's a strong relationship. So it kind of works in chem chemistry as well. We just have to find out out of HF or HCl, which one is that shortest bond? Well, it comes from the atomic radius trend. And as we go across a period, your atomic radius decreases. But as you go down a group, your atomic radius increases because you're just collecting shells. So in this case, we just have to find out where H, uh, F and Cl are on the periodic table. And relatively speaking, um, F would be somewhere in this corner, and Cl would be the one right down, right, right below it. They're in the halogens, they're both halogens. And as we're going down, we're increasing in that radius, which means that the atom is just getting larger. So if fluorine is represented as maybe this guy, chlorine has to be bigger. And as you go down, you get bigger and bigger and bigger. So if we just say arbitrarily that hydrogen is this little um, yellow, you know, this little yellow dude, right? And now we're coming in with our fluorines and our chlorines. Fluorine will probably be just, you know, in relationship to chlorine, fluorine has to be smaller than chlorine. So maybe what I'll say is actually what I should have done is we won't, oh boy, we won't put the, um, we won't put the letter H in there just to show you guys, but I'll put it down below because, so we'll say this is hydrogen and this is fluorine, this is hydrogen and this is chlorine. And the way that a bond is, is technically from the center to the center. So if I go center to center, I'm kind of there. And if I go center to center, ooh, I'm right there. And if I did this right, if I just take this out, ah, yes, okay. So the HF is a shorter bond because the radius of fluorine is smaller. Fluorine is a smaller element. So the one that is smaller is the one that has the smaller radius. So in this case, it's going to be HF. HF is the smaller, well, will have the smaller bond and therefore it will be called a stronger bond. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I look forward to helping you in future lessons, and I'll talk to you then, all right? Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.